Okay, so you might notice that I've uh, cleaned up the, uh, the working folder here. This is more or less how I think the install directory will look, probably minus the log file. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. Uh, so if we launch this here, see we have a menu now. Uh, it has uh, even a splash text system. It's randomly generated out of uh, 1 in 100, or sorry, well, 101 uh, pool of uh, text strings. If we go into extras, we have a test that shows all of the different potential splash texts, but we don't really care about that. If we uh, go in here and go to new, this takes us to where we were before. And then if we go into the console, see that I've added the save command. Watch that, brings up the save screen. But before we mess with that, let's uh, actually use set var. Then we'll uh, just that. Set the player character to, um, why, why not a uh, dollar sign? Sure. Back. The player character is now a dollar sign. Now, if we go into the save command and then uh, let's select uh, the hello YouTube one. So number nine, and we'll call this uh, test two. Okay, now uh, exit that, relaunch it. We'll go to load. We have test two in there. That. And boom, it saved our change. Uh, now, if we go to options, I think that, yeah, spins up in the console. And then, uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. The only other things is I have uh, the save folder here, which has your different slots. Oh, I was going to actually show the other parts of the save system. Uh, so if I go into the console and save, there's a uh, delete function, which highlights the console red. And then if I select test uh, two here, it'll prompt me, are you sure? And then yes, and then boom, it's gone. Which you can see, it is no longer there. As for the mem and data folder, I have not properly implemented those yet, but I do have a plan with those. Basically everything different.